So far, they've uh, withdrawn their motions because clearly they know it's uh, what they're trying to do is illegal. Tim, I couldn't agree more. And it takes responsible legislators like you and, and people running video like me, people with industry experience, to come forward and do exactly what you're doing, man. I, I thank you so much. The motions were withdrawn. They just told me upstairs. I went through the file with them. Do you think because of Massachusetts case? Uh, that's possible. General Corder, which is better known as the New Hampshire legislator, is, uh, has started, uh, was looking into the possible uh, disciplinary actions against this judge for not following the law. And I suggested that we might go as far as impeachment to send a message to the judiciary that they can't keep messing with the citizens in this fashion. Okay, we're going to return to the action in just a moment. But first, you have to know that a story without the backstory is useless. Uh, there's a new law passed that outlaws the video and uh, stills out there in the foyer areas of the uh, court. I think that's highly unconstitutional. As a suspect classification, you've got a, a strict scrutiny test going on there. And arguably, uh, some of the pictures are better outside than they are inside. Now, here's another guy, uh, Mayor Mike Mortgage Lawyer. He's upset, too, anyway. Well, all right, then, let's return to Ms. Miller's case. It's indisputable that two and a half years ago, uh, Nation Star Mortgage and, uh, I believe, uh, Harmon Law Offices was representing them, uh, they were ordered to produce the original documents. They didn't do so. Instead, they moved for a uh, writ of possession, okay? Then some media exposure came about, and the legislature got busy, and uh, lo and behold, all of that was uh, dismissed. So uh, at this point, she's going to uh, get a return of her escrow funds and all that. And uh, this is important because uh, it, it dovetails with everything I've been saying all along since I was an industry professional. And we're going to see in a moment uh, more mayhem. Uh, there's the, the last of the documents uh, from the docket sheet there. Now, Ms. Miller contends that she never received notice of, of these withdrawals until today. And so she wants to make sure they are uh, filed with prejudice. Meanwhile, more background is imperative. There's Judge Diane Nicolosi, along with the Sean Masterson, uh, they totally ignored the fact that there were no uh, supportive documents, no original documents in that case, even though he claimed to have them in his desk. Uh, I notified her of Linda Green, you know, robo-signed documents. She did nothing. There's Kelly Ayotte, the senator. When she was the AG, she ignored the fact that someone forged my name to a mortgage when I was a t licensed title insurance producer. And meanwhile, the FRM Ponzi scam, the largest consumer fraud in New Hampshire history, happened on mortgage-based securities. I went to her office. She didn't respond. A little old lady asked her a question. She got all flustered about Occupy Wall Street. Now we return to Marie Miller, uh, you know, Holocaust survivor who comes to this country to get screwed by the banking industry and the judiciary. How's that? Sure. Oh, yeah. Well, folks, I have some interesting news. Oh, what is that? Uh, they've withdrawn their pending motions. And I don't know exactly what that means because I don't know, I don't understand really? quite the full uh, measure of what happened in the Supreme Court. But the, the, the motions were withdrawn. They just told me upstairs. I went through the file with wow. them. Do you think because of Massachusetts <laughs> case? Uh, that's possible. But tell me what, tell me where it stands now as far as the decision in the Supreme Court, uh, Ms. Miller. Well, in there Let's was you, uh, no son, decision in Supreme. There was you, uh, no son, decision in Supreme Court. I had no due process. Yes. They did not follow the rules and laws. They dismissed the yeah. appeal. Yeah, and they had to issue a mandate, which they did not. Yeah. And then when you made they, mention of it, and you've got the paperwork on that. Remember, you tried to find yeah. it, and it wasn't there. Yeah. In the file. Yeah. And, and then uh, when I went back that, two that, weeks that later, it was that. in there. And it just happened that she put something into the court, and Marie got this back in this court. I'm surprised because generally the protocol is from the Supreme Court to the First Circuit Court, you know, on, on an appeal. Right. And Marie filed um, an objection to the so-called mandate that they didn't issue. Yes. 
and it ended up back down here. They did not remand the case. You got this back here. Yeah. And then they put in for a writ of possession. You put in for a stay, and that's where it's at. Yes. And they do not have title to your property. Well, now, let me tell you what happened upstairs. The stay, as far as I understand it, uh, the stay was mooted for somehow, but meanwhile, the motions that they had pending were both withdrawn. Now, the motions that they had pending were what, again? There was a motion? For writ of possession. Oh, yeah, for writ of possession, yes, and that was withdrawn. And for the court to release the bond, which is my money in escrow, $2,673. And they've withdrawn that as well, so now this they money... Wa yeah, they wanted the money, but I, whatever you say. Yeah, so that's been withdrawn as well. So where do you stand? What is the nature of you and your house? I mean, are you still living at the home? Yes, I am. Interesting. Are the sheriffs coming to bother you? What's going on? No. Fascinating. Um, another day at the office with KingCast.net, Mortgage Movies. We're here following the case of uh, Marie Miller, just as we have been following the case of Jeannie Ingress with uh, Judge Nicolosi, Diane Nicolosi, who had the nerve to boldface ask her, how would proof of original documentation prove standing for you? Um, I'm, as a former industry professional and state attorney, I'm always amazed at this, and I just want to keep up with everything. And I put the petition before the committee. And Wait, Tim, explain to me again. Uh, what is this now? Now, we have a, the New Hampshire Constitution. Uh, By the way, we're speaking with... Uh, how do you pronounce your name? Comerford. Okay, yeah, and Mr. Comerford still. There we are. Mr. Comerford is a, uh, your state rep, correct? Yes. Okay. For what area? Uh, Fremont and Epping, Rockingham County. Okay, sir. And tell me about this legislation that you were pushing forward. Well, I, I we put in a petition what, uh, uh, for uh, Marie Miller because uh, the, the original judge in the case, uh, uh, Marguerite Wageling, who refu uh, refuses to recuse herself. Uh, right. She Let's made an aside. Uh, sure. She made an incorrect ruling. Uh, according to the New Hampshire RSAs under the Uniform Commercial Code, uh, when a presentment is made, you're required to show the original documentation. Yeah. When the uh, presentee <laughs> demands it, Marie yeah. Miller demanded it. It wasn't shown to her, and the original judge in the case, Kenneth Brown, ordered Nation Star Mortgage to produce those documents within 20 days. Right, I noticed that. Right, and they refused to do. They refused to do so. Yep. And the second judge automatically ruled for the mortgage company. So we put in a petition asking the uh, general court, which is the legislature, to look into it. Okay, so the investigation that the uh, general court, of, which is better known as the New Hampshire legislator, is, uh, has started, uh, was looking into the possible uh, disciplinary actions against this judge for not following the law. And I suggested that we might go as far as impeachment to send a message to the judiciary that they can't keep messing with the citizens in this fashion. And brought up the Massachusetts case uh, in the hearing where the Supreme Judicial Court said that uh, the Simons and Blank aren't good enough to... Uh, prove ownership of a property. Exactly. And now I filed legislation in New Hampshire to make sure that assignments in blank can't be used here. Excellent. So that's that's where we stand right now and it appears as if the, the judiciary has received the message which was exactly my intent by filing this uh, legislation and starting this hearing that maybe we could get this poor woman her home back and uh, it looks good so far. They've uh, withdrawn their motions because clearly they know it's uh, what they're trying to do is illegal. Tim, I couldn't agree more and it takes responsible legislators like you and people running video like me, people with industry experience, to come forward and do exactly what you're doing, man. I, I thank you so much uh, for being a responsible citizen and, and lawmaker. And you as well. I appreciate all the uh, exposure that you give this issue. It's going to keep on. I'm getting ready to go out west right now. Awesome. Make a tour around the country and, and, and have some more. Let's go inside. Good.